I'm Allison Anders, uh, back again for Trailers from Hell. Um, we're going to look at a trailer for the Big TNT show. And if you've never seen the Tammy show, then this may well be the best mid-60s concert film you've ever seen. But if you have seen the Tammy show, then the sequel isn't going to be quite as exciting as Steve Bender's amazing film. But let's have a look at it. One of the most amazing differences between the Big TNT show and the Tammy show is, first of all, the treatment of the audience. Steve Bender, when he made the Tammy show, somehow magically involved us in the audience as if we were part of the audience, being lucky enough to see this incredible concert. But in the Big TNT show, you're kind of looking at the audience, and so you're watching the audience get ecstatic over Roger Miller which is a little odd to lead with Roger Miller, even though he was a big star at the time and he was a crossover artist into the pop world, it was a little odd to lead with him in the trailer as a way to excite teenage audiences. The dancers were most likely probably from the Hullabaloo show, which is where this was filmed, it was on the Hullabaloo stage, which was at Sunset in Argyle, which is now Nickelodeon. It had long been a variety show venue. It had been Earl Carroll's in the 40s. Petula Clark, for example, is really odd because whoever the stage director was, he had the kids kind of doing this Michael rode the boat ashore clapping, which really didn't, didn't add to the oomph of her performance. <laughs> the birds look like they just really want to go home. And uh, there's cool cameos like the Frank Zappa and, um, and also Sky Saxon of the Seeds is in the movie uh, sitting in, as an audience member. But really the, the performances that work the best in this movie are, well, Donovan works okay. The great is, is Ike and Tina Turner. I think that this, this is the best performance of the movie. They really got to show off who they were in this film and made audiences want to see them on subsequent TV appearances. Bo Diddley's fantastic in this as well, and so is Ray Charles. The Ronettes are also pretty awesome. Phil Spector and Don Randy were the music supervisors once again, as they had been on the Tammy show. But the difference here had also been that the Tammy Show was sold to American International Pictures for distribution, whereas this film had been made by Sam Arkoff and, and uh, Nicholson for AIP, and it, it really just was a little too contrived. Technically, the big TNT show was shot better than the Tammy Show, both of them being shot on tape. So, you know, if you get a copy of this, it's going to look a lot better than the first one. And even the lineup here is a little odd because having David McCollum, who was a big TV star at the time on Man From U.N.C.L.E., and was a teen idol in all the magazines, it was just a little different than having Jan and Dean come in on skateboards. <laughs> Man, it's out of sight.